telling it, AMC one is not a small feat. But you know, by your guidance, it will be uh, very easy and it will look like small. If you have to give one word of advice to our future students, what would that be? Academically help me to polish up my base. And uh, they told me about the guidelines, how things are in Australia. So I was ready in like four months. So good morning, everyone. I'm Dr. Snigdha Sharma from Academically. And today we have Dr. Prashant with us, who has recently cleared AMC1. So before we begin this interview, congratulations, Dr. Prashant. Clearing it. AMC1 is not a small feat. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> but you know, by your guidance, it will be uh, very easy and it will look like small. It's not a big, big, big deal. Yeah, if you have a proper guidance, it's not a big deal. Thank you. Thank you so much. I hope we were able to help you at to the best of our capabilities. But could you just tell us how was the journey and how has academically we helped you through this journey? Uh, so basically, I um, went, I was thinking of moving abroad uh, since long. Uh, mm -hmm. was not uh, uh, sure about the destination. So soon uh, came to know uh, this year only in the starting of Jan. I uh, came to know that um, Australia is in need of uh, uh, many physicians and all and that they are, you can reach there after your MC part one only. So uh, I thought that because I have an experience of like uh, seven or eight years back, so uh, I didn't want it to waste time. So I was just uh, searching about Australia. I came uh, across your uh, um, yeah. On Google, I find academically, and uh, okay. I saw the reviews, and I searched more about academically. Then I find it uh, a bit useful for me uh, because uh, I was completely unaware of uh, Australian guidelines, how the setup is, how the healthcare system in Australia yes. is. So I have to start from like zero, and. Uh, so just uh, when you, uh, I close my eyes, I trusted, and I. Uh, went on with the uh, academically uh, and uh, like um, uh, there were online sessions, there were like uh, MCQs and uh, yes. there were like mock exams and all, uh, even the, uh, the PDF form of uh, uh, theories were there. Yes. So overall, yes. Uh, like, uh, you know, if, uh, and it's not like I was giving every day like eight hours because I'm a practicing physician here in India. So okay. every day, like I was having an online session and uh, I was somehow reading two or three hours whenever you have a free time. So mm -hmm. because of sessions and then you go through your PDF thing and then you will give your mock exam, it made it easier. With a base, okay. I believe everyone have a small kind of base behind when they are graduated. So yes. uh, academically, we'll polish that base according to the Australian guideline, very good and very precisely. You don't have to okay. read love, books and books and books. Like you cannot complete a whole curriculum. <laughs> so Agreed. They, Five and a half yeah. years is hard. Sure. So I just took uh, the course. It was like around three or four months. And uh, yes. what I was having, uh, like uh, I was having from inside that I'm good to go. Okay. And uh, I registered my exam and I just give it and somehow happened. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was all your hard work. Please, you can't just say it just happened. You worked hard for it. I, <laughs> but uh, if, me actually. <laughs> <laughs> but if you have to give one word of advice to our future students, what would that be? Uh, Nothing. First of all, uh, you uh, should not be like, uh, don't think about the uh, money you have. But because what I felt because I had uh, many of the friends around, uh, exam is not that tough. Like okay. we all have given like final year of exam and all those exam, mm -hmm. why was and all. So mm -hmm. uh, exam is a bit expensive. The Maybe the journey will be having some kind of expenses. Mm -hmm. But if you have studied good mm -hmm. and you have a base you should not think of of that okay if i if i will fail if i will fail because that answer is not with anyone even like uh, mm -hmm. I, I i was so confident after giving exam but till then result didn't came i i wasn't 
I was sure that I will pass, but you know how these MCQs are. Yes. So, so you just prepare it for the exam and just okay. give it as soon as possible. Like you have a four month of course, you give you devote yourself for four months. You will make your time frame. Like every individual is different. Like for yes. me, I believe that because I was having some kind of base and uh, uh, academically helped me to polish up my base. And uh, they told me about the guidelines, how things are in Australia. So I was ready in like four months. Okay, People so if you go it, with yeah, with our PPTs and the John Murta, the Blue Book, I uh, read through the SOPs because I understand the ones we follow in India are different from the ones in Australia. Mm. I think you are good to go. Hundred percent. Four months is a hell lot of time. I believe. Yes. <laughs> Like now, no, I was think I should have given like one month prior. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but you all have given everything, so you don't. Ha- I don't have to search anything. I don't have to go out on thank Google you, or anywhere. You. Yeah. So everything was there with me. So I just have to invest my time and focus. Yes. That's it. But you how many times like did you? Months. How many times did you attempt the mocks or the uh, MCQs? I think like AMC yeah, MCQ like are talking about or the uh, MCQs for AMC given on books and as well as the uh, on our web- website academically. Like uh, I did my all three marks in academically, okay. and then uh, when I saw the marks that uh, uh, I did all the questions, and then there after question there are some kind of explanations, small yes. brief explanation that. Yes. is the you know that is the best thing like okay. you are not going to read a whole kind of like three four pages of explanation like it it kind of boring i know people like uh, uh, stu- like they will read for one or two <laughs> question then they will stop it so <laughs> like this like you will read around 150 questions and uh, there are some summarized answers and uh, they will be happy with it they will okay. at the last they will feel that okay I have done the like maybe ten or fifteen topics, so I am good on that. Okay, so yeah. uh, basically, if we I tell students further, Doctor Prashant says go with academically course, concentrate on MCQs and the marks. Hundred percent. They are good to go even in four months. Depends, like many people will be like much more intelligent. Go in like two months. <laughs> Like basically, you know, you should know the Australian guidelines yes. and what yes. they are more asking. Like uh, uh, when I started my journey, uh, it was like zero. I didn't know what they are going to ask about. I'm a tem- yes. uh, completely emergency physician guy. But when I yes. came to across, uh, when I came to know that uh, more question will be on psychiatry or mental health or ops guy, yes. you have to know about yes. these fields more. So yes. you will prepare accordingly, and it's not tough. It's it's not at all tough. And uh, of course, like uh, if someone is going to read a book, a test book, hundred percent, it will be very tough and boring. But if you go by like topic wise, have a MCQ, have a summarized answer. Mm-hmm. I think it won't take like two more than two or three months. Okay. Like it took me three, but like I'm a complete working physician. Like I work like sometimes sixteen, sixteen, eighteen, eighteen hours. <laughs> but then we have to give it to you. Your basics in clinical medicine are very good. So <laughs> some of experience helps. That experience yeah, helps. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Experience help, and if you are in some kind of books earlier. Uh, for any certification or any course, yes, it's going to help. It's going to help you hundred percent. And so, the, if so, you keep working, that is also a plus point while you're giving the exam. Sure, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. That's. So, I think uh, my experience and some kind of certification courses which I was keep on doing mm-hmm. helped me. Yeah, because okay. base was there. I was not completely away from books. Yes. Yeah. So I'm definitely and- away from book completely, like from five or ten years. he can also easily crack it easily crack it just he will need like one or two months of uh, you know refreshing a start button okay, okay so, that's it 
Yeah. I have a lot of students who keep coming to me asking we want to do pharmacology or maybe we want to a, want to do a detailed of every topic because naturally it's a short course of 4 months and we are not covering all the topics. Sure, so what do you yeah. advise what do you advise those students? Like why you want to you you have to crack NC. <laughs> yes. So your target should somehow by hook or crook Mm-hmm. by your basics by your knowledge you have to you know take that right answer even that answer is um, uh, you know corrected by one line sentence or you know the whole theory you will get mm-hmm. only one mark you have the knowledge so of whole pharmacology to... <laughs> or you just know the one word you have to correct so that answer to... yeah. Yeah. no need to go in details unnecessary what you are you are wasting your time simple okay that, that's for like the fresh graduates to... like they are really see we mo, a lot of students are preparing for neat pg and j- we just had a neat pg so that's what uh, they had a very i mean it's a very genuine question that's what i thought yeah, yeah, coming yeah, yeah. from someone who has prepared recently and giving the exam if they themselves tell them that you don't need to go in details it it takes a different kind of standing for those like students like man simple like i you know even after reading a textbook you are not going to remember it like whole of your life yes like if Agreed. someone is going to ask me about like whole anatomy i i am so sorry i am not an anatomist <laughs> yes <laughs> you, 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 yeah, i totally agree i totally agree i have done family medicine come mm-hmm. and ask me about surgery i'm like i'm sorry i don't know anything about it so you 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 have to you know you have to be smart these mcqs uh, you you are not going to write a, uh, mm-hmm. a thesis or something you have you have to crack a exam how people yes. have cracked their neat exam you don't read love and belly or guyton or this no there is completely different yes. approach to sit in a mcq exams you have to be smart you have your time management and uh, you should think that how summarized and less i can study and uh, so that i can crack this exam That is, that, is <laughs> that is the best crux and advice that you have given for students who are taking <laughs> AMC soon. Study smart, make summaries. Hundred percent. Like why you have just be okay, be and you know like this you will be feeling light. You won't be feel burdened. Yes. By okay. studying big big books, you will be. I I I thought never would have. Given. book the exam only <laughs> if i was to read it like books and okay okay it's okay no no you you are just being very modest you have really worked hard dr prashant to be here and uh, thank you for taking out time and just guiding i found your advice the small one just concentrate study smart and use summaries that's the best advice someone could give the future students coming who are taking amc I think ma'am most of them uh, they know it and uh, everyone everyone wants that thing everyone expect that thing but yes. uh, they are somehow some uh, have some kind of fear that maybe i have uh, you know uh, lost something or maybe uh, i'm uh, if i'm not studying completely um, some question will be gone yes. nothing like that like see you are having a pattern you know the pattern and you have mm-hmm. to uh, study accordingly so, simple mm-hmm. okay read whole book when when you don't know the pattern here you know the pattern and everything is in front of you okay you know the topic they are asking this this this, this now and then plus we so, are academically yeah. <laughs> we are giving you the summaries of the topics and the person ma'am just read the question just read the ppt and Uh, summarize the uh, uh, those answer ha- just uh, mm-hmm. uh, read those uh, summarized answer and uh, i think if within if you do it two or three times which you can easily do in like two three months you are good to go for exam that's the best thing <laughs> uh, <laughs> so thank you dr prashant for taking up time to talk to us today and congratulations once again and Thank we are so much, happy man. and grateful that we were able to be a part of this journey which helped you crack this exam in a short time but thank you so much all credits Thank to you so much it's and all credits w- to you to us by the way so uh, thank you dr prashant for today 
uh, we end up with the session and probably we'll get back together for a conversation. Sure, Thank you. Sure.